Never run out of battery again with the INIU Portable Charger, the slimmest 10,000 mAh power bank that keeps your devices charged on the go. Stay powered up wherever you go. Click the link in the video description to shop now on Amazon. Hey everyone, welcome back to iPad Focus. Today we're talking about a big update that just landed on your iDevice, iPadOS 1777. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, isn't this the same as the latest and greatest iOS 18? Well, not exactly. Apple has released this update specifically for older iPads that can't upgrade to iOS 18 just yet. So, what's new in iPadOS 1777? First off, it's a security update, and we're talking major. This update fixes 29 vulnerabilities, some of which could have serious consequences if exploited. Now, Apple doesn't like to give too much detail about the specifics of these fixes, but we can tell you that they've squashed some big issues with Safari, StoreKit, Weather, and even security. For instance, there's a type confusion issue in WebKit that could lead to memory corruption, sounds pretty scary. And an issue with StoreKit that could see an app accessing sensitive user data? Yeah, that's not good either. And then there's the serious bug in security that could enable an app to access associated usernames and websites in your iCloud keychain. But don't worry, Apple says none of these issues have been used in real-life attacks, yet. So what can you do about it? Well, if you own an older iPad like the 12.9-inch 2nd Gen, 10.5-inch Pro, or the 6th Gen, then this update is for you. Just head to Settings General Software Update and download and install iPadOS 1777. Now I know some of you might be thinking, but what about newer iPads? Can't they just upgrade to iOS 18? Unfortunately, it looks like Apple has changed their game. No longer will you have the option to stick with an older OS if your device can handle it. So, make sure you're running the latest and greatest on that brand new iPad of yours. That's all for today's update from iPad Focus. Make sure you stay safe online by keeping your iDevice up to date, and we'll catch you in the next video.